Robert, tell us a bit about your background, your industry knowledge, and how you found your way to starting Star Investment Partners. So my first experience in financial services was immediately out of school. Um, I joined a short-term insurance company, um, and shortly a year thereafter, I joined a bank. So for the first two years of my working life, I had a lot of interaction with financial services as it was known at the time, so banking and insurance. I did learn an enormous amount in those first two years about how people react and work with their money. And I'm talking people, I'm talking the average consumer, but also high net worth individuals, business people, and the like. And those two years have stuck with me for my entire career in financial services, and they've formed a foundation stone. I then went on to varsity. I studied uh, philosophy, politics, and history, not your typical finance subjects. Um, but also grounded me very much in what money is. Everybody looks at it as numbers. It's actually not numbers, it's relationships. And those relationships uh, are very important. How we, how we react to our money and how we think about our money on a day-to-day -day basis influences in the decisions that we make. And this is at a professional level. It's not only at a consumer level, it's at all levels. And that's really you know, sort of helped me a lot. I've also done some studies post uh, uh, um, varsity days in business schools, uh, various business schools around the world, and had an opportunity to attend many different sort of inputs from a professional, uh, professional base as well. Employer-wise, I, I said I started with uh, ins short-term insurer, that was mutual and federal. I also spent a year with Standard Bank. And then after varsity, I basically set a, a, a road in front of clients. And that started with Old Mutual, went on to a, a, a group called, what is now called APSA Group uh, in the banking industry. After that, I joined a independent audit firm providing financial and uh, planning services and advice uh, to high net worth individuals and ran a business for them. That then morphed into wanting to go across the fence into the product side of the business. And there I joined a unit trust management company and set up and ran several unit trusts for uh, that company. Also very, very interesting to see, you know, the other side of the equation, how all of the administration st uh, stacks together and uh, how important it is to have that formal infrastructure and uh, to ensure that money is well managed. That led me on to wanting to be a little bit more independent. And so from that point forward, I've essentially pursued a, a career in independence. I initially started that in partnership with the Hollard Group, uh, where we set up uh, Hollard Wealth Management and Investment Management. It was a seven year journey. And it also, that particular seven years helped me formulate my thinking around partnership. Hollard are essentially a partner driven business but over 100 successful partnerships built over 40 years. And it also taught me that partnership is not necessarily just about the legal contract. It's about the relationship you have with your partners, whether those partners be classic service providers or whether they be end consumers and everything in between. So that's really led me on to, to starting Star Investment Partners. I did have, as I said uh, earlier, some experience with the hedge fund market, and the hedge fund industry. And I, uh, before joining and setting up STAR, I was with a, a hedge fund manager. Great for learning about alternative investments, great for learning about capital protection. And that really started the journey for um, STAR Investment Partners. I think it's also important, if, I, if you don't mind me just saying, that uh, um, I've also wanted to always give back in, into the industry um, and spent close to nine years um, working as the chair of AMA in South Africa. AMA is the Alternative Investment Managers Association. It's a global organization. We then morphed that into a CISA's uh, uh, hedge fund standing committee, where we spent eight years working with the regulator to bring the hedge fund community into the regulated CIS and pension fund market. And we did that successfully. And in 2017, I stood down from that position. 